the link between expected inflation and the Phillips curve. We start with the aggregate demand, aggregate supply model, which looks like this, right? Aggregate demand, short run aggregate supply, long run aggregate supply. And the economy is here at the natural level, which means unemployment is also at the natural level. Now, the Fed will increase the money supply, which will lower the interest rate, which will shift what? Aggregate demand to the, right. the aggregate demand will sh be shifted to the right. Aggregate demand is going here, AD0 to AD1. But what is now happening is like this. The people are surprised. They were living in this world at this price level. So this was their expected price level, was here. Yeah, the economy was living with the inflation in the mines at this level. They believe this is the expected price level, which means wages and other inputs were priced according to this inflation rate. Now the Fed made it as a surprise. They increased the money supply and the economy was positively affected by it. They got it like, I don't know, like a big stimulus. Yeah, they, they are now working much nicer because look, we moved along the short right aggregate supply. For example, because of the sticky wage theory, wages were negotiated based on this level, but the companies are now able to sell at this price level, right? So actual inflation is higher than expected inflation which is very good for the economy, which makes unemployment rate lower than the natural unemployment rate. It's what we see there in the graph. We moved from here to here. This is inflation. This is unemployment. So we are along this Phillips curve, but this Phillips curve is valid because expected inflation is lower. So this Phillips curve is related to the expectations regarding inflation. Now, inflation is high. People will do what? Adjust the expectations, right? The workers will say, we cannot work any longer at this salary because look inflation is higher my real purchasing power my purchasing power is smaller i don't want to work like this i need a increase in my wage which will change the expected price level and what will happen now here in my model here what will happen what will change here the short run aggregate supply will shift to the left because production factors, inputs, will be more expensive. Why? Because the people adjusted expected inflation, which will make unemployment return to the natural level. What will happen now? I'm going to have another Phillips curve here. So this is Phillips curve 1. This is Phillips curve 2. What is the difference between this? expected inflation. Here I had lower expected inflation. It's low expected inflation. Here I have high expected inflation because the economy adjusted to the new level. So let's suppose a, a pizza capricciosa <laughs> sells for 30 lei, right? right? And the uh, cook yeah, the, the, the one that the baker that makes the pizza is earning, uh, I don't know, 2,000 lei per month, netto. And now you can sell your capricciosa with 40 lei with uh, prosciutto. 
<laughs> okay. And your, your baker is still making 2,000 lei. This is great, right? Now, the baker is getting angry because everything else in the economy is more expensive. So he will uh, ask for an increase of uh, how much was this the increase? 30 percent increase. So he will also want a 30 percent increase to his salary. So he will be like, uh, how much is this? Uh, 2,700, let's say, lei. Now, and if all the other factors of production now are adjusted, if you sold here like 100 units, now in this scenario you would sell 200, yeah, because it's very lucrative. But in this scenario you will go back to 100, yeah, because his salaries and the other costs are now uh, increased a lot. Of course, you, you still have this price, 40 lei, or even more expensive, because he will say, now the fight will begin. He will say 2,700. Now, this is not that. I want 3,000. And the other will say, I want more. So maybe you will make here even a 42 or 45. But the, the real story is that you go back to your initial production level. You see? Despite of mozzarella and what is there? Fungi? Or? Mushrooms? Is it mushrooms? Yeah, I like that. But, yes. but they do have a time window in which they have a higher profits, right? Right, but right. But if this happens on and on in the long run, won't they just... Yeah, they will get used to it. They, they will expect it, that this is right. So uh, the, the economy is not said about increase in aggregate demand. They will always like it. If you go in Zimbabwe's case, this will go from 30 lei to 300. And this will go then for to 3,000 and, and so on, which will bring this uh, inflation cost, like uh, shoe leather cost. The people will say, uh, come on, why don't we trade pizza in dollars or in euros? I stop using lay because I'm getting crazy. 300, 3,000, let's make it five euros and stay it like this. Okay. So this is a shoe leather cost because I get my salaries in lay and then I have to go to exchange house, buy euros, buy pizza and so on. I go crazy. Or there will be the menu cost, there will be the problems. For example, if I want to open a new pizza restaurant, I, I might say it's not a good idea because uh, I always have to adjust prices, I always have to adjust salaries and I always have to, to make some tax evasion. I, I told you the story with tax evasion in the high inflation time. Because if you don't do the tax evasion, you lose capital, you lose a lot of money. And this is not easy. So investment will not be so high. Uh, when inflation is getting really high, it's doing something else it's getting volatile. Yeah. So low inflation is pretty stable. If you have it like 3, it will be 3.1, 3.2, 2.9. Okay, it's okay. But when it's 300%, it could be 400, 100, 150. It's, you know, the bipolar disorder. Okay, you, you don't like it. It's like, wee, 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 wee. 